So a digital SAT is coming up and it's coming up quick. And I know for all you students who are taking digital SAT are already scared about what might happen after the June one, I want to talk about how you can get a 1600, it's a 1600 on your digital SAT in this video, step by step. So the first things first guys, start doing hard ST math problems. Now I know Khan Academy has a bunch of hard ST math problems that are like over the limit, but now the new digital SAT, these problems are no longer over the limit. These hard ST math Khan Academy problems can very well be on your digital SAT. You see, the adaptive module that a lot of students still don't understand is that your module one for the ST math section will be the same as every other student's, right? But your module two is adaptive, meaning it will change based on how well you did in module one. So you might not get the same questions on module two as your friend did, or as your sister did, or as your brother did, or as your dad or mom did because of the adaptive module. This adaptive module has hurt a lot of strong ST math test takers because they're scoring perfect score on module one, but module two, they're faced with like 10 10x difficulty question with shapes involving volume, depth, surface areas, and they just can't like understand what's going on. And they end up getting cooked and really bad on the second module. And this cannot happen to you, so, which is why to avoid that, I want you to focus on geometry. Geometry is something that the module two of the math digital SAT grills students on. There's a bunch of shape questions, shape equations, triangle prisms, rectangular prisms, joining two shapes together, resulting like effect of that. That stuff is hard. If you are not good with geometry and 3D shapes as well as 2D shapes, you're gonna get do really bad on module two. So guys, module one is an easy one, module two is a hard one, but module two can be easy if you do good when it comes to shape questions. So really focus on shape questions. I'm part of LearnQ.ai, which is like a free service if you like buy any of my courses. They have a bunch of shape problems for the digital SAT that I really want you guys to do continuously or even Khan Academy, which is totally free. These questions, you're gonna see them and you can't miss them. Secondly, linear equations. This has been the common theme for both the digital and non to the SAT since the beginning of the SAT. Linear equations 40% of the entire ST math exam. You're gonna see a bunch of questions on them. If you don't know how to do them, if you aren't good with them, when it comes to the calculator linear equations, um, doing linear equations by hand, finding intersections, finding zeros, then you're gonna have a strong, strong challenge ahead of you if you just don't understand linear equations. All right, so please understand linear equations. The best way to do that, again, Khan Academy, do a bunch of linear equation math problems. Khan Academy literally has a topic for just linear equations. You can do continuously problems, 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 problems until you you master them. If you match them, you're already looking at like a 500 on the ST digital math section with just linear equation problems. Now, when it comes to the reading, the ST reading science passages are prevalent. You're gonna see them a bunch. Science passages are nonfiction. This ST is making a great move to really emphasize science passages. They're more interesting now. There's more questions on them now. Um, they're more like a prevalent. You see two of them now. You need folks on ST reading science because this way you're able to grab a bulk of the point. Now, the common theme I have for both math and reading ST sections is you want to grab the bulk points, right? You want to grab, you want to match the concepts that are going to be everywhere on the ST, like linear equations for math or science, uh, ST reading science path. You need to match these bulk topics to really make sure you're getting at least a 650 on both. And then as you do the other minute topics, topics that aren't as prevalent, your 650 score will start moving to a 750 plus. Another thing you have to do is ST English grammar mastery. Guys, grammar rules, grammar rules, grammar rules. Understand that you know when you use semicolon, dash, colon. These are rules that if you don't know how to use them, you're guaranteed getting your question wrong unless you're the best guesser in the world. And these are easy points, easy, easy points. And the best way to do guys is go on YouTube, go on Google, search up SAT English grammar rules, and you're gonna find a bunch of resources with every single grammar you need to know. Read all of them, memorize them, apply them when you take your digital SAT practice test. Now, these are the questions that you know you have to understand how the author will react to, or how this person will react to this sentence, this paragraph, the speaker of this passage will react to the claims of the speaker of this passage. Understanding that topic is a really hard one for a lot of students. A lot of students struggle with reaction questions. If you're that student who doesn't struggle with it and you're the student who's actually getting reaction questions right because you've practiced and practiced enough, then you're already ahead of the curve. And the curve that is applied to digital SAT will actually benefit you because now the students who suck at it, right? These questions will hurt them as much. This is not hurting them as much. They're gonna help you a lot because you're the one getting them right while everyone else is getting them wrong. So these are the questions that you really wanna get right, these passages reaction questions and the best way to get them right like I said aside from practice is just to understand that hey if you were this person if you were Abraham Lincoln if you were George Washington how would you knowing their personality knowing what they bring to the table their thinking how would you react to this and if you're able to put yourself in their uh, shoes that way you'll be able to answer every single reaction question possible if you're able to understand how they view whatever topic it is then the questions choices
is will start being pretty easily like oh this is obviously wrong it's obviously wrong it's obviously correct and you'll be able to circle the right answer and move on and get the problem right and lastly guys this SAT you need to take mock exams there's mock exams that college board has offered now these mock exams are good but they don't reflect that adaptive nature model too which is why I do want to say that I have part of LearnQ.ai which is an AI powered ST digital exam prep platform they have six mock digital SAT tests that they made that have that adaptive nature and once you take them you get a predicted SAT score so you will have a predicted SAT score knowing that where you're headed and how exactly you can improve so your predicted SAT score is a 1420 how to get it to a 1500 that's a really powerful platform highly recommend you guys check it out link in the description below it's free for everyone who purchased my ST course bundles be sure to check that out as well thank you all for watching peace